Hanag, hello. My hero, I'm grateful. What news of Gwydion Rins? Have you found him? He's dead. <laughs> this is difficult news. Leave me now, I must grieve. Hmm. All right. I owe you a debt. It must be repaid. She opens her hands, and between them opens a tiny portal. A book drops from it. She catches it and hands it to you. I bid you farewell. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to speak to her again at some point. But the book she gave me was called Planar Gateway. Uses two source points, no ability, like no AP. What's it do? Conjure two linked gateways that allow any character to instantly travel between them <laughs> up to four times. Requires... Actually, this... Does this... Yeah, okay. Requires summoning three. So, I'm going to send that to you. It's a new spook. I don't have summoning three. Do you not? No, I don't. I'm joking. I was on the wrong character. Learn I skill. was like, how do you not have summoning three? That's your only thing. I'm going to speak okay. to Hanag again. I did save, okay. so... Cool. My hero, I... I'm grateful. She offers you a grateful smile. Yep, man. Now that you're safe, where will you go? I shall return home to the Empire when the Magisters have cooled the ardor. For now, I'll hide out here. It should be safe enough. She gives you a shy smile. It's charming, and it may be her tell. She may well be lying. Okay, she does trade. Oh, right, she sells a bunch of skill books, by the way. I'm coming. So she sells necromancer skill books. Ooh. Uh, they they all use source points, by the way. Every single. Ooh. Yeah. yeah the necromancer all... skill books include grasp of the starved. Yes, Undead please. Yes, hands please. rise from the underground, attacking enemy characters that stand in blood surfaces and clouds. Deals um, two hundred odd damage to each <laughs> character and sets crippled. I want this. Get out. I'm getting that. Get out. Um, I really like this polymorph one. Exchange vitality percentages with target character. I will use that on you. Uh, how about skin graft? Reset all yeah. cooldowns. Removes burning, necrofire, poisoned, and bleeding. Yeah, no, that spells really good. Um, ooh, I've got a polymorph from with the, with the game I'm playing with a friend, and I've been using that a lot. Farsight skill book. Increase the range of a target character's ranged attacks and skills by four meters. That sounds garbage. We do not have a polymorph. No, that's uh, uh, that's Huntsman. Oh, okay. I was checking some of the other things. Okay, so there's thick of the fight one, which is five ten percent damage bonus for every nearby character or totem. That's a warfare one. I got one. that. No, it's warfare. Oh. I'm thinking of something else, and I'm thinking of the rallying cry. I think it's called. But I don't think I need that because I don't think I'm really a damager. No, I do damage occasionally. And then onslaught is attack five times of astonishing speed, each attack dealing fifty-eight to sixty-one physical damage. Eh, I don't really like it. Woo. Okay. Must be something later that allows you to get more. More summons, apparently. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'm seeing if there was anything else I wanted, but I don't think there is. So, uh, I'm going to let you have a look. Thank you. Yeah. That's fine. She offers you a... Yeah, you've already done that. Oh. Hello. All right. Geomancer... I like some fire slug. That sounds like fun. Black shroud sounds fun as well, but it's not as good as yeah. Grasp of the stars definitely the one we're going for. Mm. Okay. What was I? Daggers drawn, five stabs each for 20, 29. Well, that's no, just the damage. I don't get to see the damage. Hmm. I think I was starting to level Geomancer on this character. Hmm. Arcane Stitch is pretty good. Yeah, maybe. Is that the one that was like a heal thing? 
Flea Restore targets character's magic armor, removes frozen stun, petrified plague, suffocating poison, burning necrofire, terrified silence, taunt, and mad. Mm -hmm. But I think for now, I'm just going to stick with just getting the grasp and starved. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. And it gives me an opportunity to... Oh, she doesn't have any gold, so I can... Why would that go in my bar? Alright. Okay. I will be right with you. I am just removing two abilities from my bar. Mm -hmm. And I can now cast... I can now cast Get Handsy. I want to try it out, but like, I can't right now. So where'd you go? Uh, I went into the options menu. But... <laughs> Um, I also went back to the black pits. Okay, cool. I will... I'm about to be where we need to be. So. There we go. Yeah. What's... Oh, you were that side of it. Mm -hmm. We haven't quite got where we're going yet. Right. So there's two areas this side. There's the caves and there's also like a civilization. Like more like a settlement, you think? Well, right? that's, um, that's not civil... Well, it's the their... Yeah, Magister Camp. Now, we can't purge, so the Shrieker would absolutely destroy us. So we'd have to walk in the front well, gate if we're walking in. So, purge is the same as, like, Source Vampirism? I kind of want to try Source Vampiring it. They did the same effect. Yeah, because you used to, you would destroy it and get a Source well, Source Vampirism has a very... Look at the range of Source Vampirism, though. That, that's not going to be long enough. I'm going to try walking in the front door here, though. Okay, let's go for it. Because, in theory, I've got the Magister writ. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Enemy. Oh, that's fine. What is it? The Shitsu or Shriekers? Oh, I'm speaking to someone. I think the things that were going to attack me are the Shriekers, yeah. Anyway. They're also galvanized. I'm, I'm, somebody's speaking to me right now. You can nosy around camp, but watch it. The docks are restricted. Even I'm not allowed down there. If you come back bleeding, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so he's just letting us know that they will attack us if we go over there. Yeah, okay. So what's the... So the, why are the docks a location for us for a quest? That's what's what I'm the, interested in. It's got to be just some of the black pit stuff. Well, no, if it's red, that means we already have a quest. I think. Hmm. Apparently my character's Irish. Okay. Oh, you made a new recipe. We did. Oh, you did, I did. Mm -hmm. So, I have an idea. Hear me out. We just jump over the wall? I was going to do it in a bit more of a fun way, but sure. Oh, uh, wait. That silent watcher at the door is probably going to attack. I'm just going to look in now that we can see. Oh, right. You see Magister Raymond in there, who's level 16? Yeah. I'm a little worried about him, to be honest with you. Yeah, oh, you know where we should go back to? Where? We should go back until, um, wherever it's Gareth. Like. Yeah. That's probably Gareth, XP. We, do you also have that quest that we can do? We can we also, also just go into the black pits over here. I kind of want to go into the black pits first. Yeah. Like, we could, we could go back to Gareth, but we'll just get, like, a bit of a conversation. The only concern about going back to Gareth first is he may say, like, uh, you know, I'll go into the black pits now and do something. Nah. Infinity is usually a bit better for like the like back and forth, back and forth kind of quests. Yeah. Anyway, I have a ring. So let's. Oh, there was there not somebody sitting outside here previously? Yeah, there was. We, like no. she was talking about apple pies and stuff. Now she isn't. Or did we kill her? I don't think we. Killed her. There's no corpses here. Well, I'm in the black pits. Okay. A well, generous offer just updated. Yes, this is where Riker wanted something from within here. In a tablet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, the the one in the black pits was investigate the black pits, by the way. That was the uh, quest. Lol. Apparently cheese lowers your finesse. Well, I, I could see that. You have to turn it into something. Yeah. 
Um, okay, don't pick up milk churns, by the way. No, I, 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 the reason it's not on the blankets because I've already picked it up. Please oh, don't wait a second. Me, I, I already have. <laughs> I already had five. <laughs> so <laughs> now I have seven. Okay. It only okay. very slightly puts me over my weight limit, actually. So if I send, like, three of those to um, Ifan, we're good. Oh. You see this guy? He's dead. Yep, I just teleported him out from that exploding bit over there. Okay. He's, he's over there, by the way. What, his spirit? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the trap. Get rid of the trap. Uh, okay, I'll get rid of the trap. Cool. They're vents. They're not. All right. I'm on him. Just talk to me. Uh, okay, but you're gonna go on fire constantly. Okay. The first thing you notice is the figure's empty eyeless socket, so similar to your own. The second is that your senses feel heightened. The third is that he is, or was, Black Ring. As your hand nears the ghost, your bones begin to itch. But more than that, your world expands. Your vision narrows and fades, and your perception of the cavern is enhanced. And you realize this is, or was, the ghost's reality. He was a guide. His job, to know the way. He's called the Blind Guide. I'm going to dig deeper. You see him, on pain of purging, guide magisters into the cavern depths, there to continue their secret dig. You see him float above the traps, or vanish in one place and reappear in the next. Mm -hmm. And then, at last, you see him murdered in cold blood as the magisters left the cave. Their work here finished. His services no longer acquired. His wages paid with his own soul, which he was allowed to keep. Stay until the end. You feel his anger and his confusion and his raw and naked pain, and you hear the cavern echo with his cries. I'm going to bid him show me the way deeper into the cav cavern depth. He turns to you at last, those eyeless sockets staring into your own, and you realize you know the truth already. You can do as he did. You can find your way over and around the accursed surfaces, those deadly stains that rise from the gods know what, deep underground. You have the power. You have what it takes. Okay. Oh, we can talk to each other once you get out yeah, of the uh, fire. Hell, hell zone, no more over here. I'm just going to rest up. The thought occurs. The Magisters have strayed from the path of Lucian. Mm. The Magisters have lost their souls. They smell Dallas in this. The Magisters' source of end by Avatar of the Seven. This is Dallas's ultimate betrayal. Wolves in sheep's clothing. That's all these Magisters are. We've seen it proven time and again. Were they ever on it? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Be ye warned. Beyond lies death. The divine order guarantees it. Heed the word of the white magisters. Turn ye around. Turn ye around, do you? Okay, so we can do what he does and... Okay. But, like... I'm looking at the two routes through. So one has traps and oil. And tube crates. I, I would like no. those crates, so. The midnight oil updated. Oh, the crates blew up. We found a cavern bristling with magister traps, so all the quest update was. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Wait, why did I do that? Oh. That's fine. Federal, man. Yeah. Is there any point in this following? Mm -hmm. do we, or do we just use, like, Sabeel and. If I had to jump around. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I do think you can do what he did is a bit of a cop out there, game. It probably means but, that you can uncurse the oil. Oh, yeah, that would probably be what it's supposed to be. I'm almost through with it, Fan. Give me a second. It is a very dark cavern we're going into, so it might be a fight, which is why I've quick saved before I jump. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna jump back to where party is then. Okay. Uh, Spiel can jump back without taking damage, so we're just gonna have to jump there and run back a bit. Yeah. Right, I moved Ifan forward. There's somebody saying, help me. 
and I'm invisible, so. Okay, you need to send him the teleport permit. Uh, uh, he already has the teleport permit. You need to send me the teleport permit. Well, no, no, you send yourself your own teleport permit and he comes back. Well, that's another way of doing it, I suppose. Um, going to Ido. Wait, there's no, no, where are you going? There's somebody there's who a, said help. There's a chest, there's a box up here. Right. Look, he's fine. Okay. I'm going in to say hi to him. Her. Help me! I'm gonna move to hell. What are you doing? You start um because you walked in while I was talking. You stopped the conversation. <laughs> oh my god! Lol. <laughs> so there's um these little cute fellas. Actually, do you know what? These are probably my favorite Voidling design so far. I have to say, I quite like these. All right. So there's armored and fluorescent Voidlings. Once fluorescent Voidlings, they just die. Yeah, after ate her. I did eat her. It was a bit of a shame, wasn't it? Right. Um, one of those. Ba -da, ba -da. Ah! Ah! Mm -hmm. uh, they are weak to fire. The armored ones are weak to fire. They're all um, weak to magic. That's the uh, trick. Yeah. Okay. Then I think... Because I'm in just a bad spot. I'm just going to start by bubbling up. Mm-hmm. And then... They are, they're weak to fire, so why not just... Uh, play on that. I'm going to create a fire elemental, and I'm going to... I've only got one point left. I'm not really in a position where I really need to do much, so I'm just going to... chomp that guy down. Okay. I mean fire damage. Okay. That was some pretty hefty damn dams. So wait, that's cool. Wait, cool kids say damage these days. Okay. Oh! Okay, um, these guys are just real cute, so like, I think I want to be buds. Um, what? Do you want to explain that one to me? Mm-hmm. But it didn't work. But why? They're not means charmed. Probably cast it in the wrong way, I would guess. It's a grenade, I threw it. Mm hmm. I don't know. Oh. All I'm saying is when I use those grenades, it succeeds, so. Glory is mine. Oh, they roll! Mm hmm. <laughs> I love them. Right. Um. Just want to try and stop these ones from, uh,. Getting a fan. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they, they they just suicide on you. I see. <laughs> Wonderful. They're suicides. That one's the fluorescent one. Suicide. Be, we need to be careful of them because that's almost certainly going to mean that they um. Well, there aren't any left, so. That's my. That's why I'm worried. Like. Voidlings have a nice habit of, like, mm. coming in waves. I think this one's just an introducing you to the idea that they exist. That's fair, yeah. Okay, good. Right. 
Well, I'm just going to hit this one then. But that one then gets bleeding on it. Yep. And a bone widow. Yeah, they they have their plan. Yeah. Cost me one AP to move to there because oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the backstabs? I think I'm trying to go with the ruptured tendons, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Just Gentle a free attack, there. really. Yeah. I love your turns right now, just... Eh. Mm -hmm. They're not really my uh, favorite type of enemy to fight, because... <laughs> They're bulky armor and nothing else. They also just roll into Ifan and kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it kind of implies that they, they're saying, like, Hey, do you have any uh, magic CC? Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have any magic CC, do we? Oh no, we have Ice um, Fan. I've got, yeah, I was about to say, that's it. Yeah, and it didn't work because there's Necrofire everywhere. Right. You know what? Just walk away. <laughs> they don't take the time. They don't have an uh, opportunity. That's me, man. Mm hmm. Is it though? Seems alright to me. Well, at least you do, you can actually switch to doing some magic damage, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, it has oil flame. Okay, that does heal That's it. Why. Well. Does it? Well, it heals it on ret because of retribution damage. Ah. That's kind of a weird thing about retribution. It's kind of—it's not working so well against these ones. I thought you only get heals if you got two hundred percent. Don't you? Or is it anything above a hundred? Um, these guys are have have a hundred and twenty-five. Is anything above a hundred? So a hundred is you block a hundred percent of your damage. To, uh, to the is and you heal twenty-five. Yeah. I'm just going to wreck this. Okay. Probably didn't use all, all, both of the abilities there. Hmm. And you got that one, right? You're, you're fine with you just leaving you there. Yeah, whatever. He's a coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting move. What were you hoping to or accomplish with the bleed? Oh, you're getting a surface. I see. Yes. Yes, oh. I was. Right. My kill. Use the extra two, two AP though. What are you doing? We didn't use any source points. No, I was um, raising your fan. All right. But he was too far away. I needed to jump. 
Looks like they dropped Nebulous Crystals. And everyone's favorite, Raw Lumpy Giblets. I can cook those. Hey, they drop high quality Shadow Essence. That one's I was looking for. Mm hmm. Well, maybe you should okay. look correctly. This one dropped okay. a Nebulous Crystal. How about the I jelly rooms helmet. that are over here? Uh, I did, did uh, unidentified helmet sent to you. Unidentified helmet sent to oh. me. Doesn't I gotta say it doesn't look like a helmet if I'm honest with you. It looks more like a summoning thing, some kind. Right. Thanks. You've already looted here. Oh no, you haven't. Yeah. You've done an awful job of looting. I gotta say. Pyrokinetic one summoning. Decent magic, decent stats, but not as good as like the new one we got from the guy we killed. I mean, look at look at what I'm picking up. I sent some of it to you. This is some high the quality. The sharp stuff. rocks. Yeah, I knew it was going to be the sharp rocks the second you start talking. They're probably useful, actually. Uh, I just clicked on something as it said. I wonder what it does, and it started shaking the entire world. It broke. Um. Uh, <laughs> I actually really like that line. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I broke that, so... Oh, so, I think I know where this is likely to lead. This, Yeah, it leads down to the bottom. Well, okay. yeah, I can see the exit, so... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Okay. It's for if you have... If you got this far in the game without the ability to jump past every puzzle. I just took, like, a hundred damage for dropping a bit of paper on you. Mm -hmm. Colleagues, it has come to my attention that some workers have been slacking off. This is unacceptable. The pace must be increased if we are to satisfy Lady Dallas's bidding. Do not make me bring painful incentive into the equation. That's what it says. The page of this note has been written on has been covered in vulgar doodles that, that the caption suggests depict Lady Dallas and Master Raymond in some orthodox ritual positions. I just found two keys. Good find, my guy said. Yeah. All right. Well, what's what's uh, oh? There's a martyred monk over here, galvanized, but it's effectively a shrieker. And behind it's the waypoint. Galvanized means it cannot be damaged, right? They can yeah. be destroyed by source source val vampirism. It is a shrieker. We said. Hmm. But I can't. You can't get close enough to source. Wait. Yes, you can. If you can get high enough. Or you do what I'm doing. They can't see behind them, remember? Mm, no, that fairly certain is not true. Press C. But I think it will still zap you. Do you want a quick save and find out? I mean, I could, but I'm right, so. Okay, so. Right, just go wait four turns. I'm also just going to put Source Vampirism on the bar. Could also just be friendly. Oh yeah, I'll go give it a hug. Fuck you. <laughs> See? See what? Look where I am. That didn't well, hurt. That didn't kill me. It's only because you're invisible. If you stop being invisible, that will still hurt you. Yeah. It definitely was. It was. It was shooting Ifan. Yeah, but Ifan's alive. The statue looms mm -hmm. in the shadowy darkness of the cave. A clear aura of sadness shrouds its stony face. At first, you think it's crying. A closer look shows the welling tears to be water dripping from the cave ceiling. As the tears dampen your fingertips, the stone face seems to smile sadly at you for just a moment. Maybe you imagined it. Perhaps it was a trick of the light. Mm -hmm. That's the black pit mines unlocked. Perhaps it was a waypoint. Also, just gently scroll your camera to the left. What? You mean where the... Um, what? The, do you not see the giant like hellscape to the north? What, you said left, like left was I where realized, I was. I realized that our cameras are probably oriented different oh, directions. Oh, I see. Yeah. Also, there is like what looks like a gate there, but I don't know if it acts as it one. It is, yeah. Well, it looks like one. 
Hmm. Yep, we can click on it. It's interactable. Okay. Ooh. Hey, there's a obelisk of some sort in here. A lot of sharp rocks in here. Once we figure oh, out how to I'm use them, we're, we're in a good situation. What other relic you found? I know, I was thinking that! Well, you've turned it on, anyway. Yeah, okay, the tower oh, relic oh, is there... to hum... Oh, oh, yeah. The towering relic seems to hum with esoteric energy, faintly pulsating in time with the beat of your heart. You feel it drawing you closer, yearning for your touch, hungering for your source. Touch it! As your palms press into the warm stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. Your power flows from you into the relic, yet a reverse current flows back into you with a new power, a different power. The stone warms and warms until it is suddenly too hot to touch, forcing you to remove your hands and step back. Okay. Ar eternal armor, armor of the Eternal. Uh, that that just gave you armor, I think. As in, it gave you... I'm just checking your bag. Wait. No, it didn't. What was it, like a... I think it's like a permabuff or something? No, there's no buff on you. Oh, does that... Have, is it a recipe? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Recipe, maybe? Uh, armor. Armor of the Eternals armor is a recipe. It needs it requires any... Eternal... Yep. Yeah. Uh, nice. Any Eternal Plate, Metal Just Scraps, and a Sorcerer. That sounds pretty cool, though. It does sound cool. However, but we haven't it's... found any eternal anything, so... Yeah. Also, what the hell does it mean by an eternal thing? That's a new term for us, isn't it? 